Hey everybody, Joseph Morbido here with another episode of Wildemar Conversations. This is a great story if you missed it. Shows that Wildemar is indeed still rural. So without giving away much of the story, let me throw it over to Bridget. Good morning, Wildemar. My name is Bridget Moore and I'm a councilwoman with the city of Wildemar. And behind the camera is Councilman Joseph Morabito. Today's another installment of Wildemar Conversations and I'm on the ranch with Michelle and Chris. And today's actually their anniversary of moving to Wildemar. Now, when I say the word opal, you might think of a precious gem. And if I talk about a four-legged animal that's a protector, you might think of a dog. But not here in Wildemar. I want to introduce you to Opal, the protector cow. <laughs> so um, I was sitting under the pepper tree, hanging out with Opal in the afternoon, petting her and listening to some music, just my, you know, my uh, meditation time. And my husband called me and said, hey, where are you at? I under the pepper tree, said, stay where you're at. Somebody, uh, the police are chasing somebody on our property. And I said, what? So immediately I jumped up, I come around the corner and the police are uh, jumping over the black gate at the front and yelling at me, get back in the house, get back in the house. So I turn right around and as I turn around, the guy was like three feet, three to four feet in front of me. And so I screamed and uh, Opal got up, got in between us, chased him down this hill right here where the police were right over here. Wow. And then they tackled him and arrested him. And, uh, and then, you know, they, all the police wanted pictures with the cow and <laughs> whatever else. Was. So Opal is a protective yeah, cow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have never heard of yeah. this story before. Yeah. And so tell us how long have you had Opal? We just got her on the 1st of March. Oh, wow. Yeah, some neighbors in Menifee were uh, trying to find her a new home, a better suited home. So uh, we said, hey, we've got the space in our hearts and the space on our property. Let's, let's do it. So. And I just love her coloring. Mm -hmm. So what kind of cow is she? What type? Opal is a half Jersey and half Angus cow. So she's half beef cow and half dairy cow. So um, yeah, she gets her girth from the beef cow and the Jersey face, the, the, the dairy cow. So okay. yeah. The lovable face. The lovable face, right? <laughs> and, and, and you let me know that after her heroic efforts and saving you, she receives some special treats. Yes, yes. she gets German cookies. German cookies. Horse cookies. cookies that she just loves. She'll oh. do anything for horse cookies. Well, so. she definitely deserves yeah, some cookies. Yeah, she got about yeah. half a dozen of German cookies that day. Sorry to hear about what happened yesterday. I know. But then also good to know that you have a protector cow. Yes, we do. We do. She was a good investment for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no looking back now. Yeah. And she's our pet cow. So we never plan on doing anything okay. but having her as our pet. Oh, she's okay. family. Yeah, she's so, family. Well, uh, Joseph is going to post this on his blog, which is Wildemar Wrap. So what do you think? Maybe this could go viral, the protector cow Opal? I think so. We okay. think yeah. so. Maybe so. <laughs> Who right? doesn't love a cow? <laughs> exactly. She's so beautiful and so cute. Thank you. Yeah, we love her. She's a keeper. Yeah. So thank you for taking the time today to talk with us with Wildemar Conversations. And that is Opal, the heroic cow, putting <laughs> the wild in Wildemar.